Bonjour, apes. Today I'll be making a video on two things. Two things. One is easy exploits. Two is Proxo. Like future plans I have for those two projects. So number one, easy exploits. So I have made a couple changes to easy exploits. Believe it or not, I have. I've made a couple changes to it. Um, I've actually started working on it again because it's been a while since I have started working on it, but I have started working on it. The first thing I've been working on is pages now have their own download page and they are protected by HCAPTCHA, which means every single download is a download where a human, an actual human, not a bot, had to solve a CAPTCHA. No bots will be able to get through this CAPTCHA as far as I'm concerned. Um, so every single download you now see from here on out and for the most part from the beginning too um, were completely legitimate and proper downloads and uh, on top of that it just looks better that there's a download page it will have a little bit more information right now it's a bit plain but later on it will have a little bit more information at the moment it just keeps the image gives you the, uh, the description the, the name of it and that it states that it's a download and why you should choose us a little bit of stuff uh, as, as a footer and a header um, Another thing I did is now you can access the creator panel from uh, from there. This is, it's important to emphasize, not everybody can use this. Only the people who have a release on site can use this. So this is only for the developers that are on site of these exploits. Usually people had a lot of problems going to the creator panel. You know, they just didn't update their exploit because they didn't want to go through the hassle of going to the creator panel. And sometimes they'd ask me like, how do I get to it? How do I use it? Um, now it's pretty simple and you have everything you need here. Another thing I did, um, I'm working on easy exploits being a big community site um, where maybe, just maybe, I'll accept submissions in some kind of form where people can upload their own exploits and their own scripts and I'll also be accepting submissions where people can also, uh, well not submissions but um, I'll be opening forms Kind of like Vermilion, kind of like uh, Venice 6 forms and Shadow forms and Electron forms. Kind of like that, just a Roblox exploiting form, along with maybe some other sections to popularize it. Um, but for the most part, it would be like a cheap form. So it would be like a black market kind of deep web kind of forms. And another thing I, I plan to do is for everybody to have their own profile, their own customizable profile, where they can customize it, their profile picture, they can customize maybe their bio things like that that's upcoming that's something i'm actively working on but is in a very early state of work in progress so these are just ideas for the most part but they are in development and some progress to some extent has been made those are what has been made and that's what is upcoming for easy exploits as of now please try to get proxy to 500k that would be sick um and obviously check out the other exploits on the site along with whatever scripts are on here new scripts will be soon added to the script section too so stay tuned for that for the most part that's what we have changes for easy exploits. That's what's going on with easy exploits. Um, let's move on to Proxo. Uh, for the longest time ever, Proxo consisted of a combination of free execution methods. Well, uh, to, to start from the beginning, it started off with an execution method, uh, a very, very basic execution method. It was a wrapper. Obviously, this wrapper changed over time. It was first Axon, and then it was some kind of variant of Weird as API, and it was some kind of variant of. Uh, of a uh, cause wrapper and it was a good wrapper it was pretty good but it didn't have the functions i needed to advance and actually add proper functions that i wanted to add so we upgraded we started using pre copied execution it's now a combination of wrapper pre copied execution and on top of that so people could use the pre copied execution um, interpreting uh, their scripts through the lua bytecode interpreter we had we had an lbi it's called um, where you could execute your own scripts through, uh, through the bytecode interpreter made in Lua uh, that would run directly on the VM. It had its flaws. It had plenty of flaws. It was memory leaking, it was unstable, it wasn't good. But it was to some extent, some, some ways better than the wrapper and it had all the custom functions that many scripts would need um, that are more advanced. For the longest time, we've had the wrapper and then the wrapper, LBI and pre compiled execution, but all of that's gone. All of it's gone. We're not using any of that. Uh, we're now using a bytecode conversion module um, or a transpiler, a bytecode transpiler, if you want to call it that. This uh, this bytecode transpiler is one a lot more stable. You'll experience much better stability. Obviously, this varies because there are still functions that are just as unstable as they were before, um, and I'll get to that later. But at the moment, uh, 
when it comes to just standalone execution you will experience a much better uh, experience um, so for example if you play games like jailbreak you will notice that it is going to be a lot more playable and a lot more better and enjoyable because you would experience much much less crashes and much better performance and speed and on top of that you will be able to execute a lot more scripts hook function you can fully uh, use from the script executor now um, along with meta methods and plenty of other things that you couldn't do with the LBI and you can w now not worry about memory leaks there are zero memory leaks this is completely running on the Lua UVM so you don't have to worry about that not the slightest on top of that I added a couple new features to jailbreak and maybe I updated some features fix some features here and there um, but nothing huge was changed in the terms of the game features. It was mostly the execution that was changed. That was a significant update. But some things were changed in the game section. Um, I plan on a much bigger overhaul of the execution. It will soon turn into a transpiler, or not a transpiler, a compiler. Um, which is similar to a transpiler, but not quite the same. And the compiler will, um, will also be way, 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 way more stable. So you experience that games like Phantom Forces will be much more stable they will do much better for you um, they will have a lot more functions i will start revive rivaling kernel and it will likely be faster than kernel will it have a decompiler i don't know we're taking things slow um, but i know that it's going to be vastly improved and it's going to be vastly better than what we had previously um, but as of now it's it's a temporary upgrade with our current developer now despite its flaws it is far better exploit set kernel that become absolutely there's no doubt about it uh, i'm confident that we will do very 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 well against competitors once this new update comes out along with a brand new overhaul um, of the game features i will i will be working on the game features uh, for jailbreak uh, phantom forces arsenal and a, a lot of new games that i'll start adding uh, maybe like adopt me maybe even smaller games like maybe even rogue some 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 uh, features for rogue lineage obviously i don't know how much you're gonna add for that because it's a very advanced game to make exploits for but we'll see um, and I'll start working on those, but that's the most of it. So I'll start blabbering on because I've blabbered on for 10 minutes now. Let's let's download Proxo. So downloading Proxo takes you to easy exploits. You go to download, you click I am human. <gasps> Yikes. You uh, you tick whatever you need to tick to prove that you are human. You press download and boom, you get the installer. You press yes. You didn't see that, but you do press yes just to prove that you are. Uh, you're giving it administrative permissions you press decline or accept on whatever offer you want it's important to emphasize that uh, those are in fact optional you are not forced to install those but if you're interested in any of them install them that's up to you <clears throat> so you press keep dangerous file keep it away open up the boot strapper um, it's pretty simple there you go launching proxo press yes again um, it'll be brought to the same installer we just go through just like we did before um, obviously I'm not going to be installing any programs through the installer but again that's up to you um, so we go here download link Proxo download free access this is the last installer and the Proxo will be just about installed after all of this there we go press yes last one last time press next we uh, wait for it to download there we go finish open and boom it's downloaded um, now it's going to ask us to put it onto our desktop, we just press OK, we open up Proxo and there we go, Proxo should be open. We press enter Proxo, we won't need a key to get into the UI, we'll just be straight in. Now uh, we can play Jerry, we can play Counterblast, we can play Arsenal, we can play any game um, as long as we have scripts for it, but for scripts that are already built into Proxo, we have them all here. Um, there are two pages of them, again, they will be soon very 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 highly overhauled because these are old. Um, while maintained, they are old game features, but they are there for a reason and they are one of the main reasons Proxy gets used today. So, one of our strongest points is Jailbreak. So we're gonna go and join Jailbreak and show off some of those features, so let's skip forward. It's important to do that, that you uh, fully let Jailbreak load. Um, you don't want to inject too early because then you will be guaranteed that we will crash because things are going to try to initialize too early and uh, it's just completely crash. So let's let it inject here. Give it a couple seconds. Has been loaded. You will freeze for a couple seconds and boom, you're done. It was to say playing jailbreak and that's it. So we can use any feature here. We got speed. Obviously, you can't go too fast. There's no uh, TP bypass that I have. I do have a TP bypass, but please 
for the love of God, don't use it. It's broken <laughs> at the moment. I have a fixed version, but I have not yet released it. I might release it by the time this video comes out. So uh, maybe try it once if you want to, but right now it's broken as of the video until I release the fixed version. But we got ESP, we got tracers, we got pretty cool functions. Um, and if you have a, if, have a monitor over 60 frames per second, you can unlock your FPS by going to settings, just like that. Um, but obviously my FPS locker is really running. Um, we got all these options, we can turn auto hook, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, hover opacity, we got startup, if you want to enable startup or disable it. Uh, unlock FPS, disable checkboxes, uh, obviously this explains what these two do. And the, other, the others are pretty self-explanatory. Um, we got universal features, whatever we need. Most features should work. See, player flight, player flight works just fine. Um, always night, that's working just fine. Going to the global tab, we got all these features. You can make it full bright, so you can see a little bit more. Max zoom, you can zoom completely out. Um, let's see what else do we have here. We got vehicle speed, we gotta find a car. Okay, we got a Tesla here. Turn on vehicle speed, and as you can see, our car will go much, much faster than it should. We turn on rainbow vehicle, and our car will start emitting rainbow colors. We got vehicle fly, if you wanna fly in our car too. This is completely server sided, except for the rainbow vehicle. Um, all the movement features are completely server-sided. People can see this. People can ride in your car and fly around with you. And it's completely fine. Uh, we've got no clipping, which also people can see. Because there's no clip through buildings. Uh, we've got infinite nitrous. I think I fixed that. I'm pretty damn sure. That was one of the things I did fix, as far as I'm concerned. Yep, that works perfectly now. Um, let's see here. we got bright headlights. And that is something I also did. You can turn it off or turn it on. Um, it just makes your headlights much brighter, so if it's very dark, obviously I got full bright on, but if it's very dark, uh, you won't be able to see properly, which that will come in handy. Uh, we got jump power, I'm not sure if I enabled that, no I haven't yet enabled that, but... Oh no, I did, okay, that works just fine. Time, gonna adjust the time, this isn't server sided, but for our client, we will change our time. Uh, we can uh, enable gravity, so we have low gravity, otherwise we can just have normal gravity. All these cool stuff. We could have control teleport, um, where it will teleport us. I gotta uh, update this too because the anti chase is not quite as uh, sensitive as it was, but it does work for the most part. Just a little bit weird. We got aimbot. Got a whole queue to use it. And we'll lock on to whoever we want to lock on to. So if you want to lock on to these guys over here, we can. You can adjust the same sensitivity. Turn aim prediction if you wanted to. Uh, we also got alt delete if you want to delete stuff by holding alt. Can't delete ourselves, which is good. Um, we got B tools as well. If you wanted to delete some of the buildings, if I can figure out which key it is. There we go. That works just fine. Um, we got remove doors. We can, I think we could remove buildings too. There it is. We can remove buildings. Obviously not fully working, but it's enough where we can drive through most of them. Because that also needs to be updated. We can remove clouds. Uh, move skybox. There's no skybox right now. It's just the default one, as far as I'm concerned. Um, we can make we can nighttime again. And yeah, that's 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 most of the features. There are more features, but I'm not going to show them all. But that's most of the features. I've got the pretty cool stuff. With it. So let's end it off with Arsenal. That's also a very 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 um, high demand game that a lot of people do use on Proxel. So let's go ahead and try it out. <laughs> There we go, we're on Arsenal. Now we can uh, turn on ESP, silent aim, speed, and infinite jump. I think that's all we really need. We can deploy. There we go, we can start killing people. Obviously I will be adding new features to the Arsenal um, stuff too, because these are very basic features, but they are features that work and they are pretty cool. And the aimbot does also work, so if you wanna look at that. There you go, the aimbot does work. Obviously I'm flying, but there you go, you can see it works. So all these features, pretty much almost all of them, because a lot of them are old, uh, will work just fine. And as you can see, we can just raid check and keep killing a whole server. So they're pretty good features. The silent team is the strong point, obviously, here. Uh, something I have maintained. So don't worry, it's not like I'm not working on proxy just because these are old features. These are features I do have to maintain. Because sometimes uh, they come out with updates that like affect it and break it. Um, and I do have to update and fix that, which I do. 
and uh, that's why it still works today. So yeah, with that being said, that's going to be enough for me. Thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions um, for what I should do with either projects, these exports and Proxo, or maybe even some new projects I can open up or some kind of new uh, new video idea maybe I can work on, anything you want, you name it. If it seems interesting to me, maybe I'll work on it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy uh, these two beautiful things. And bye-bye.